Hello everyone, Andrew here and welcome to today's Game & Watch review which is Snoopy Tennis, the 18th Game & Watch ever released on April 28th, 1982. It is an original widescreen model and it has a really nice uh, kind of pink or purple lavender maybe, that's probably a better word for it, and gold uh, outside and otherwise it's uh, you know everything you expect from your widescreen Game & Watches. This one is the first one we're looking at that doesn't feature like a Nintendo character or uh, Mr. Game & Watch, but rather it actually has third-party characters coming in here. In this case, uh, you know, Peanuts characters being Snoopy and Charlie Brown and Lucy and Woodstock there, which you can all see. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of funny to think that, you know, not every Game & Watch was just Nintendo-owned characters. There were some ones with outside characters as well. So I gotta set the time here. Uh, and as you can see already, just from kind of the uh, all the cells being lit up there, it is very much just Snoopy is on the right there. He can move up and down uh, to either of those three levels, and he has to hit the ball back to Charlie and or Lucy. So uh, enough of watching the demo here. Let's try out game A. Overall, though, this is definitely one of the more uh, simple game and watches out there where you got uh, it's just pretty much you move. And when the ball's in front of you, you press the button to hit it back. Uh, interesting thing to note is that the movement buttons are on the right. I guess that makes sense considering that, you know, the character that you play as, in this case Snoopy, is on the right. But when you think of video games, you know, controls are always on the left. The D-pad and such. So uh, it's very interesting, you know, to have that flipped around in some cases. But otherwise, you kind of just sit there and you press the button and there it goes. And sometimes Lucy shows up and she'll hit the ball back at a faster rate than Charlie Brown normally does. So you got to be ready for that. And then that ball kind of just, you know, went flying. I don't think you can, like, direct back uh, where the ball goes. I uh, kind of just, you know, decided to go off into the stratosphere there. Uh, but yeah. And then sometimes, of course, you get more than one. So you got to hit that one. And then this one's coming up to the top. And see, it's too early. So you really got to wait for it to be right in front of you before you hit it. And there you go. Yeah, this is definitely like Game & Watch gameplay at its most basic, but once it starts picking up speed, you get all the tennis balls coming at you, it really gets exciting. I don't believe that this game was ever featured on a Game & Watch gallery game, which makes sense because they probably would have had to, you know, pay licensing fees and such to use the characters again, which they obviously wouldn't want to do. So yeah, I don't think you'll ever find Snoopy Tennis. Uh, playable on a Game & Watch. And wow, okay, we didn't get up there fast enough. But it is really neat though, you know, you actually have good-looking characters that aren't just Mr. Game & Watch stick figures. You really have to use your imagination to, you know, think that that's Mario or something like that. These actually look like the characters they're supposed to represent, which is pretty cool. Look at all these coming at me. So, like I said though, when they all start coming, uh, I wasn't paying nearly enough attention on which one was in the front there. Okay, so let's actually watch this time. Okay, so, like, which one? So, no, no, now this one's in front. I pressed the button! You, you, there's definitely video proof now that I've just pressed that button and it didn't hit the ball back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, you also have to account for, of course, Lucy and such hitting the ball. Alright, let's, uh, let's play game B and make up for that horrible display there. Even game B seems to start up pretty slow. Now, that one hit was worth two points. Interesting. Uh, it's funny because, you know, Halloween is coming up and uh, when you think about think holidays like Halloween, I usually associate the, the Peanuts and their holiday specials with them. I feel like they're kind of fading out of, out of uh, relevancy. You're not going to hear too many kids today talking about, you know, Charlie Brown's uh, Halloween's The Great Pumpkin and, and the Christmas specials and stuff like that. I mean, it was already pretty old by the time, you know, my generation was growing up, but my parents kind of introduced it to me, but I don't think that many people from my generation are, are uh, you know, introducing it to their kids, so... I know there was actually like a Peanuts movie not too long ago too, but overall, it definitely doesn't seem like the series is holding the same water it was a decade or two ago. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. What are your opinions of the Peanuts? Definitely still do have some popularity in Japan. Until a little while ago there was like a Snoopy museum set up, but it was one of those... Oh, so I'm always just a little bit late, because you really have to press the button at the right time. It's not like a Spitball Sparky, which we recently looked at. You can blow that ball back. You know, pretty much any time it's, uh, it's near you, 
But this one, you have to press it immediately when it's in front of you. And if you miss that just, you know, couple second, not, not even a couple second, like a couple millisecond window, uh, you're pretty much done for. But yeah, uh, Snoopy definitely, you know, has a cute character. Japan likes their cute character. Still has some relevancy there, but definitely don't see too much Snoopy in North America, I don't think, anymore. Yeah, see, I thought there was one going towards the bottom, too. Oh, I'm, sometimes it, your eyes play tricks on you, too. And, I mean, you think that the ones that are heading back is the one that's coming at you. Yeah, Game & Watches can definitely play tricks with your eyes because there's no, you know, fluid movement. It's always just flickering dots. So sometimes... Oh, darn, nope. Nope, nope. I saw that happening yet. Lucy hit one so that it was faster, so I should have been down there at the bottom. All right, last life. Let's make it work. Let's get to 100 points on this last life. Yeah, there's definitely like a learning curve to training your eyes to understand what exactly you're looking at when you play a game and watch games sometime. I guess you can just mash the button. <laughs> then you don't have to worry. It's not like there's any penalty for that, I don't think. Oh, no. <sighs> Darn it. All right, again, you're so busy looking at Snoopy that... I'm not looking at who's hitting the ball back, but if you look, you can obviously uh, obviously see that Lucy's is the one that's coming back faster. So you should be accounting for that, but then they all kind of get mixed up too in the middle. Because you know, it's just all these dots. It's like, okay, so now which one is the one that Lucy hit? Which one's the one that Charlie Brown hit? It's a cool game. It's definitely really neat. I think it's really nice that, you know, there's some Game & Watches featuring characters that aren't Mario as well. Many people might not have even known that those exist again because you're not going to find them featured in Game & Watch Gallery or anything like that. Nintendo probably can't really talk about them without paying a fee uh, to Peanuts Corporation or whatever they call it these days. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing that one and hope you'll join me tomorrow for another Game & Watch review. So thanks and see you then.